then who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? School board meetings used to be boring. Stop throwing it down my throat and everybody else. I am very pissed. They were the place to discuss buying software or installing water fountains. Monsters. You're all monsters. Not anymore. I can not believe you can sit up here with a smug smile on both of your faces. Why it's happening is more complex than many think. Leftists are sending out propagandized students into the world as angry, ignorant stormtroopers ready to do their radical bidding. I'll tell you right now, our kids are watching what's going on. Robert Seward is no stranger to school board meetings. He spent nearly 30 years on Mesquite's board and used to lead the state group overseeing all Texas school boards. What you're seeing is that intensity increase more than I've ever seen it increase. Some members of the public will look to the school board as the customer complaint department. That doesn't work. Phil Gore with the Texas Association of School Boards trains new board members, but lately many have wanted out. That's something I probably hear on an average of once a week. This is not what I signed up for, right? They didn't sign up to be yelled at, screamed at. He says hostile meetings, mostly in the suburbs. Bacteria on your hands, stop touching your mask. Are evidence the issue isn't local policies, it's national politics. All of this kind of generated the parent interest to come out and say, wait a minute, this district belongs to me. I'm a resident here. I pay taxes here. And here is how I want my values to be displayed. You know? Jonathan Butcher has served on several school boards and is now a fellow at the Heritage Foundation, a national conservative think tank and one of many groups providing parents resources on how to be involved in board meetings. It is a moment where people are upset about what's happening in schools, but it's also a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for us to hear what parents have to say. But in the last few months, we found it's not always parents inside the district that have something to say. CRT is a poison. It's a poison to the mind. Blanca Martinez and Ajua Mason spoke at a Fort Worth ISD board meeting in June. They were at a Frisco ISD meeting a week earlier. This is not even a vaccination. This is an experimental whatever that is killing our children daily. And in September, Ajua used a different name, but spoke this time at Arlington ISD. This is about control. COVID policy pushed the tension to new levels. These disposable masks are all made in China. It's child abuse, and I will never allow my child to wear a mask. But it started years ago with debates over critical race theory or CRT. I've seen critical racist theory enter the school. You hear some of the same language and phrasing being used. So there's this uh, way that, that communities are being coached to respond. Dr. Aaron Atwood researches and teaches about education leadership at TCU. Both she and Seward say CRT, a university level legal subject, is not taught in K through 12 schools and Texas lawmakers passed a bill they say bans it. We've never taught it in, in Texas. And it's politics, people trying to take a catchphrase and make it something that it's not. The rational response from the other side is, well, we're not teaching CRT. That's a very simple message that doesn't, you know, catch fire. Um, so it's how do you sort of build coalition around the, the other side. But coalitions of parents are now flooding board meetings, pushing to ban everything from classroom lessons to library books. Politicians are now joining and encouraging the fight. It's not just math and reading, right? We're talking about how history should be taught. We're talking about what should be contained in social studies. In Southlake, a PAC has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars and its candidates have overwhelmingly won the last three Carroll ISD seats. It says its mission is to protect our traditional way of life, which is currently under attack by extremists. We will work every seat on this board until each one holds a strong conservative. When I hear the word values, uh, to me that's code word for partisanship. School boards need to be comprised of individuals that value students, value their community, and, and value that collective moving forward, not a partisan agenda moving forward. These kids are not titled Republican, Independent, or Democrat. They are kids. Making kids, students, the focus, is one thing everyone agrees is the way out. But in this environment, can that even happen? In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.